Hi guys, how are you all doing? Hope you are all fine and I pray that the blessing of God increase in your life and your family. This morning I want to share with you because my soul, my soul is troubled. Because of the judgment that is here. Because of the tribulation that is here. Because of the judgment of God that is upon the world. The world cannot say it. But the judgment of Jesus Christ is here. The day of tribulation is here. The day of anger of God is here. We are living in the last day. We are living in the day of the judgment of God. Get on the boat. The rain of destruction is raining. Get on the boat. Get on the boat for your life to be saved. For your life and your family to be saved. Get on the boat, you and your family. Destruction is here. The anger of Jesus is here. There is no time anymore. There is no future anymore. Don't seek for future. Don't seek for, for future. For your children, don't seek for, for future for yourself. There is no future anymore. No future. We are living in the end time. Time is short. Jesus wants you to get on the boat. To get on the hack just as the day of Noah. When Noah was getting the boat ready, people are mocking him. None of them go to him that what is happening? Why are you, you know, why are you making this boat, this big boat? What do you want to do with it? They don't care. They are doing their own thing. They are getting married. They are living their life. They are doing parties. They are doing whatever they want. Until Noah got into the boat and his family. None of them go to Noah. None of them care. They are just living their life because they they they, they, they are blind. They, they can't see. Because their eyes, we are blind. They don't have the understanding of God. None of them think to ask Noah what is going on. Maybe the grace of God, maybe God is going to God is going to have mercy on them. They don't care. Only Noah and his family. That has the understanding of God. That has wisdom. That has the fear of God in them. That are righteous. Only then we are saved. And the day of Noah is here. That the Lord is going to wash this world. He's going to wash it clean. He's going to all the abomination. All this sin that is in this world. God is going to wash it away. The world is full of darkness. People don't care. They are living their life. They thought there is future. There is no future anywhere. No future. It will get worse and worse. God wants you to prepare yourself. He wants you to get ready of your house. To prepare your family for this destruction that is here. It's not that this destruction is coming. This destruction is here. It's not that the... the the judgment of God is coming. The judgment, the judgment of God is here. It's not that Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is already here. People can't see. People can't see. They are, they are, they are doing their things. They are planning for future. Where is future? There is no future here. Anymore. Seek the face of the Lord. Look upon the Lord Jesus. The word is already taking the name of the Lord Jesus away in everything. The word is already like separating their life from God. Separating 
they are alive from the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't care. They don't even want to call the name. Without the name, without Jesus Christ, there is no way to heaven. Jesus said that he that entered not into the sheepfold is a thief and robber. And thief come to steal and to destroy. There is only way to go to heaven. There is only way to be saved and it's only through Jesus Christ. That is why the world are taking the name out. How can we live without Jesus Christ? How can we be saved? How can our soul be saved without Jesus Christ? There is no way. He that has no Jesus Christ in himself will be destroyed. His soul will be destroyed. He will lose his life. Because there is no light in him. Get on board. Come in the boat. Jesus Christ is in the boat. Come in. There is nothing in this world. You cannot be pleased with the thing of the world. You cannot be satisfied. You cannot be satisfied. Only Jesus Christ that can satisfy you. Jesus Christ is full of peace. He will give you peace. He's full of mercy. He's a kind and gracious God. But without Him, there is no way. There is no any other way except Jesus Christ. The Word of God says, He that call upon me shall be saved. He that call upon me. He that know my name and call upon me shall be saved. His soul shall be saved from hell. From hell. He that believe on me shall never die. He that read my word and continue in my word is my disciple. And he shall never die. He shall never say that. My soul is troubled because of this last day. My soul is troubled. I do not have fear. There is no fear in me. But my soul is troubled for men. People can't see. People, people are blind. They are blind with the things of the world. They are doing their own things. They don't want God. They don't want Jesus in their life. How can they, how can they be saved? How can they walk in light? For Jesus Christ is the light of men. But if you take the light out of men, it's darkness. Repent from your way. Make it right with Jesus. He's the Savior. He's going to save you and your family. He cares about you. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The Bible says, He that believe for me shall not come to judgment. He shall pass from death to life. Who can stand before the Lord in the judgment day that will be worthy? The best thing is not to stand before Him. Get ready of your house. God wants us to be wise, like a wise virgin. They are so wise that they have extra oil. They are so wise because we are in the midst of wolf. He wants us to be wise as a serpent and be humble as a dove. I hope this video bless you. Wake up. Wake up from from your sleep. Wake up. Jesus is here. 